Cardio Bites, brought to you by the Heart Failure Society of America. What are the most common types of amyloidosis? Amyloidosis is a rare disease associated with the accumulation of insoluble amyloid fibrils in the body. Amyloidosis that affects the heart is most often associated with immunoglobulin light chain or transthyretin amyloidosis. The latter may be hereditary or wild type. Immunoglobulin light chain amyloidosis or AL occurs when a clonally expanded population of immunoglobulin secreting cells produces a monoclonal light chain of the kappa or lambda type as either an intact molecule or a fragment. Transthyretin amyloidosis or ATTR occurs when the transthyretin protein becomes misfolded and accumulates as amyloid deposits. Transthyretin amyloidosis or ATTR may be classified as either wild type or hereditary ATTR amyloidosis, determined by whether or not the TTR gene has a mutation. Wild type ATTR amyloidosis is a type of ATTR where the genotype is normal or there is no mutation in the TTR gene. Mutations in the TTR gene that destabilize the TTR protein make carriers of these pathogenic TTR alleles at a greater lifelong risk of developing ATTR. Specifically, these individuals get hereditary ATTR amyloidosis or what we also call variant ATTR amyloidosis. In summary, the most common types of cardiac amyloidosis are AL or ATTR amyloidosis. ATTR amyloidosis can be further subclassified based on the presence or absence of a pathogenic mutation. It can be classified as either hereditary ATTR or wild type ATTR. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of CardioBytes, brought to you by the Heart Failure Society of America. Support for this program was provided by an independent grant from Alnylam Pharmaceuticals. I'm Justin Groden, a heart failure specialist. Thank you for your attention. In the next module, we will discuss the genetics associated with amyloidosis. Please complete this short survey to help us identify more programs that may be of interest to you.